guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tutu Vinicius channel and if you're a subscriber thank you for coming back please do not forget to subscribe to my channel please just do not forget okay and leave a little comment so this video was very much overdue if you guys hear some noise just know that it's my helper she's like cleaning upstairs this video is very much overdue I was meant to do it like long ago to be to be quite honest, we shot this video when we were in Thailand, but I did not like how the lighting looked like. I shot it when I was with Koli, but I had a look at it when I was editing and then I was just like, mm, I don't really like the lighting of it because it was at night. So I was just like, I'll just redo the video from over. So yeah. So basically in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys all the details that you need to know when you do plan on going to Thailand. The activities, flights and accommodation because we got a lot of questions about where we stayed and Goli actually did like a get ready with me on her channel when she was just speaking about like Thailand and all those sort of things but she didn't go into details because she knows this is my sector and this is what I like talking about. She left a lot of information out so that I can be able to speak about it so yeah let's get into the video. I had written down some questions that I was asking Goli, so I think I will just go back to the questions. So the first thing that we did for our trip is book our flights. I was in charge of doing the flights because I know like different airlines and I'm very good with like comparing prices. So Goli just sent over everything to me and I booked our flights and in total our flights were 18,000 going to Thailand. So each person paid 18,000 for the flight. You can fly business when you go to Thailand, but it was just so expensive for us because it was obviously two flights because we were connecting. So one flight from here to Dubai was probably gonna be like 30 grand to upgrade. And then another one um, from Dubai to Thailand, which is about six hours, it was probably gonna be like 20,000. So that's how it ended up being like 60,000. So we're just like, mm, no. You can probably use that money for something else, but you can fly business obviously if you want to for the comfort. It's nice flying business, like it's super comfortable, especially for long distance. Highly recommend. But we flew economy, so that was also okay. It wasn't that bad because most of the time I spent those hours editing. Like I left all my work so that I can do it on the flight. So I actually didn't feel it. Okay, and then the second thing that we did was accommodation. So we booked our accommodation right after we did our flights. So I made a reservation on bookings.com. So I was in charge of that. And we stayed at Ocean Beach Front Resort. Everyone kept on asking us where we stayed. And that is where we stayed. I feel like the hotel was affordable for what it offered. It was gorgeous, the service, the people, like it was just, it was everything. But you can definitely find something way cheaper in Thailand because we paid for our room. I think it was 16,000, so we paid 8,000 each. But you can definitely find something cheaper when you go to Thailand. When it comes to going to Thailand, we were obviously very bougie, so we ended up doing things extra because we just like that. You can literally book a villa with your friends and you guys will pay way less than like what we paid. And only because and because it was only the two of us, we ended up paying 8,000 which I feel like is not that bad for accommodation for like six days I feel like it's not bad at all but Thailand has beautiful villas like beautiful resorts that you can stay in like with infinity pools like it's just so amazing so you can definitely find something way better in Thailand but yeah I loved our hotel our hotel was amazing the service it was spacious like that bed was huge like it was so big but because I'm used to being around Goli like I didn't feel like she was in my space or anything like that because the room was just so big and we just like chilling so it made sense for us to have that room all right once we were done with the flights and accommodation we were basically ready to go on a trip because Thailand does not require you to have a visa so we are visa free if you're South African so you don't need to worry about that then the next thing that we did was shopping obviously we shopped like i think 
a week or two weeks before our trip you obviously don't necessarily need to do that but because you're going to like an island you're gonna need some cute stuff from Shein and we got most of our items from Shein so yeah so Goli and I actually created an itinerary together on Canva where we were able to share activities and how and basically plan our trip together so it would be like okay on monday this is what we're gonna do on tuesday this is what we're gonna do and we can both edit it and whatever and we'll just jump on a corner and be like oh no like we didn't get a reservation for that no i think we should go to fifi on this day no you know stuff like that so it's very easy for us to do it that way i always have an itinerary when i go on vacation unless if i'm like freestyling and i'm like with a nigga obviously you're not gonna have a itinerary when you're like with your man's but when I'm traveling with my friends, I literally always have an itinerary because it just gives you an idea of what you should do. Sometimes you end up not following the itinerary because things just happen. Like maybe you get tired, you know, stuff like that. I highly, highly recommend that you plan out an itinerary and you can share it amongst each other and it can just be more easier for you to plan the vacation with your friend. And then with activities, there's actually so many things that you can do in Thailand. Like there's a lot of activities. But because Goli and I don't like things that require too much of our energy, we ended up only doing, did we do two or three activities? How many did we do? We did three activities and the other one was partying. So yeah, if you're someone that likes being outside, Thailand has so many things to offer. I actually have like a pamphlet that one of the drivers gave us. There's so many things to do there. So Goli was in charge of the activities, so I sent everything over to her. And I think we roughly spent like 8,000 or 10,000 Ryan on activities because um, she used a website called Viato. That's where if you're going to a certain country, you can just put the destination and it'll recommend whatever that you wanna do while you're in that country. So I'll just leave down the links of everything that she used for our activities. But what I can remember is the elephant visit was 500 Rand. Um, that's one of the activities that we did. We went to Fifi Island. I think Fifi Island was 2000 or 2.6, somewhere there. We also went to Yona Beach. Yona Beach was 1.5. But we ended up upgrading when we got to Yona Beach because they gave us like a table that was like facing people, like our back were towards people and we just like no. So we opted for a cabana and asked them how much the cabana was. And I think the cabana was like 16,000 baht in their currency. So roughly her and I ended up spending 4,000 rand, 4,000 rand. So our table, yes. So basically our cabana was 8,000 rand when we were at Yona Beach. And we split it in half, so it was 4,000, 4,000. But that cabana came with food and alcohol. So, Thailand is quite affordable when it comes to such things. And yeah, we were supposed to go to the Buddha and all those things on a Sunday. But we ended up not going because we went to the club the previous night. So, we were sleeping. So, we didn't do that at all. What I'll say about Fifi Island is that it requires a lot of your energy like we were out the house from 8 a.m till 7 i think in the evening and i was exhausted so if you're someone that likes being outside and be seeing different islands please go for it but personally for me it was fun for a moment for i was exhausted and also in october it's quite humid it rains here and there but like it's not hectic where you can't literally do anything so i feel like at the beginning of october Mid-October is the perfect time to go to Thailand. I always see a lot of people, like right now, a lot of people are traveling to Thailand. So I highly suggest, always look at what time it's best to travel to a country. And then the elephant visit. I felt like we got over it after we saw like a couple of elephants. But the nice thing about it is that they take you through different elephants and they give you different history or they just give you information about them. So Goli and I ended up having to sit down and tap out because we're just like, okay, I think we've seen enough elephants. Thank you so much. What we mostly enjoyed was Yona Beach. I think it is the first floating boat ever in the world. I think we saw it on Instagram on, I think, news, something like News24. And Goli and I were like, we literally have to go here. So I was so happy to be there. Like the music is nice, the food, 
and things are so affordable like i don't think you can find a 8000 rand cabana at most beach clubs around the world <laughs> if we're being honest so yeah you obviously don't need to get the cabana you can get like a small table like the one that we initially got in the first place but i feel like you'll be missing out because you're like facing your back is towards people but you can always sleep go like around and party with other people so yeah those are the activities that we took part in okay so let's talk about the food and the culture i was literally obsessed with the food there the food is so good i personally love asian food so it's like i was in heaven if you're traveling you should definitely use tiktok as a search engine people are always doing reviews they're always they're always doing reviews so that's how we managed to find most activities and most things to do actually and also hotels if you want to check out a hotel just go on tiktok people will tell you everything that you need to know like there's so many videos on there like you can find literally everything so most of the restaurants that we found we were able to see videos of how they look like you know the food the reviews which we obviously got from tiktok so Smiles restaurant was really amazing. Qatar Rocks was beautiful. They took us with the go kart, with the go kart. Um, they had a pool, but unfortunately it was raining. I think that evening, so they closed down like the windows. But it was beautiful. Which other restaurant did we go to? Okay, let's talk about like maybe like the culture and the people in Thailand. I'm sure you guys saw in the vlog. I had said that <laughs> I feel like in every country that I've been to. They've tried to like rip me off when it comes to transport. I feel like they like that in every country to be quite honest with you. The transport is quite cheap. Like it's really affordable in my opinion. And also we withdrew money. I think we withdrew 2,000 Rand but Okay in Rand we had withdrew 2,000 Rand. No 3,000 Rand. And we ended up using up that money but it went a long way. Like the money I think we finished the money maybe like day 2 or day 3. Then that's when we withdrew more. You can also obviously use your card but their currency is almost i think it's weaker than ours or almost the same so things are not that bad but as a country as a whole it is very affordable from the food from the transport like for example at smile lines <laughs> why do i keep saying smile lines for example when we went to smiles restaurant our bill was 1200 and it was literally like we ordered almost everything on the bowl. I think we had like two mocktails and it was just a lot. So the food was quite cheap. Also at Qatar Rocks, it is quite like sophisticated or whatever. But our bowl, I think we ended up spending like 1.1 each. The shisha is like 400 rand. Like it is just a very, very affordable place. So let's do the math here together. If you can basically spend like 5k on accommodation, your flat can be 10k. There's other airlines like there's Ethiopian Airlines, you know. I just always prefer Emirates because I'm also like building my points up, you know. Um, activities can be like 8k to 7k. Your shopping for before the trip can be like 3k. So overall, you can roughly spend like 30,000 going to Thailand and you'll still have a great time. It's just that we just like doing things extra, but yeah. Okay, let's talk about the shopping as well because I got a lot of people that asked me how the shopping is in Thailand. I loved shopping in Thailand. The people they are so respectful, they're so helpful. I went to I would go into a store, I can't remember how many times I'd ask the ladies, how much is this? How much is that? And like they're very helpful, like it's so much better shopping there because of the service. Like I literally won't buy something because I feel like I'm being treated anyhow. And most of the time when I walk into a shop, I already know how much the price is and I've already planned on buying it. Like I don't wanna waste the sales associates time and I also don't wanna waste my time, you know. Unless if I really, really, really want to try something on. But most of the time when I go into a shop, I know that I'm going to buy something. So I really appreciate how the sales associates treated us when we were shopping. Like it was really amazing. One thing about Asian people, they are so respectful. So respectful. But in my opinion, I feel like Thailand, because I was comparing the LV prices. Because we had gone to LV. I really didn't go to Gucci and yeah, I also went to Dior. I feel like Thailand prices are almost more or less the same as Dubai in South Africa. Like they're quite pricey. 
that's what I noticed. But you get a 7% VAT refund. So you can claim for that um, at the airport. But I still feel like it's expensive. Like it will never be as cheaper as Europe like ever. But I will say that the, the Amaze slides were quite cheap for what I've seen in other countries how much they are. Because I know the Orens, I think they're 16,000 in Dubai. And one of my friends went to China and he said that there were 16,000 as well. Also in America, my friend was in America and then they said that they're 16,000. So the fact that there were 13,000 in Thailand, I found them to be quite affordable. That's the only thing. But other than that, I just felt like Thailand was not cheap. The, o the only thing that was making it cheap when it came to shopping was a 7% refund. Like luxury store prices. So I was able to make a comparison. I found Thailand to be expensive. So yeah, you can do shopping, but just tell yourself that I'm getting a 7% back for my purchases and then maybe that'll make you feel better about like buying the stuff. But I promise you, it's almost the same as shopping at LV and Samsung. The prices, that's how they are. So yeah, I got a lot of questions about that. Okay, let's talk about safety. I feel like Thailand is one of those countries that you're able to travel there alone if you want to go on a solo trip i feel like you'll be able to do it because it is so safe like we just felt so safe i don't know there was just something about those people and the atmosphere and how respectful they are that we just felt safe you could just leave your belongings and no one was going to take them it's also like i don't know how to explain it like a quiet country so i don't think people really get up to like travel and stuff like that i don't ever remember seeing the police like at all so yeah a very safe country very respectful people amazing food and very affordable that's basically how i can sum up thailand for you so yeah i feel like thailand was one of the best countries that i've been to because i was able to shop as well you know and the country was cheap not like europe where i was trying to die just buying food europe was very expensive guys <laughs> But anyway, I think that's all. I think I've covered everything that you need to know when you go to Thailand. I think it makes it easy for you to travel to Thailand because of the visa. So because that is out the way, it just makes it easier for you to focus on other things, you know? Accommodation as well, like you have a lot of variety. Also you can go to Bali, like there's variety when it comes to Asia. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and do plan your girls trip to thailand okay just check the weather when is the best time to travel if you're not going in october already or december so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please do let me know if you guys want to know anything about our trip aside for our accommodation because that's what you guys were mostly asking about <laughs> and yeah i think that is all i think i've covered almost everything yeah anyway thank you guys so much for always watching my videos please do not forget to subscribe okay thank you thank you <laughs> all right i'll see you guys in my next video bye